<clears throat> so, welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, my friend just dropped me off these absolutely delicious wonders. Have a look at this. <sighs> yep, they're all mine. All six of them. Never been mad at you. Pussy remedying like a tire now. But remember being broke, I was iron you. So Today's video, I want to talk about why I am intercalating at Imperial um, in London. Okay, so the degree that I'm intercalating in is management. It's IBSC uh, at Imperial College London. Now, before I even start off telling you why, let me tell you why I wouldn't or why I never, ever, ever thought I would intercalate. Okay, so imagine, yeah, 24 years old was the the age that I should have graduated by okay so 24 years old was the age that I had in my mind that yep I'll be graduated finished uni and I'll move on with my life and do other things okay get on with F1 F2 my training surgical training I even had like a piece of paper with a step by step like every year like what age I'd be uh, what position of my life I would be at uh, what my job title would be um, <laughs> everything okay like it was like a full career ladder um, which i had drawn out and stuck up on my wall now the thing is um last year i decided i don't want to do surgery anymore um and then i started looking into alternative careers now one thing that i do like is business and uh, one thing i i'm very interested in is like starting up a business i don't know like since young i've always been interested in business alongside of medicine um, i really enjoy biology but i also enjoy business so and to be honest throughout my life i've always had like a side hustle like a side business whatever it is whether it was selling sweets in school or selling bikes in sixth form and then came to uni and all sorts of businesses um so like there's always been something that i've done outside of like academia yeah so then when surgery was not the option for me i decided what else could i see myself doing and i didn't really want medicine to be a wasted degree so i thought let me keep my options open i don't want to completely rule out medicine but i also want to have experience and knowledge in the field that another field that i'm interested in and the only other thing that i can see myself myself studying for is business and management so then um, a friend of mine told me about this degree management at Imperial. Um, I looked into it a bit more. Um, there was a few people who've done um, this degree and have went on to do amazing things. So there's a guy called Maruf Ahmed and him and a few of his pals, they set up a company called Quit Genius and now uh, he, they're out in Silicon Valley um, developing their app. It's a CBT based app which helps people stop smoking and it's quite it's doing quite big things um so that's just one example of someone who started on this you know management um ibsc and there's plenty more examples as well but um so i thought yeah why not like this sounds perfect for me people like me and um, so i think this is what i'm gonna do and then i looked into it a bit more and they would then i looked into sort of um, some of the modules that they were doing and accounting like I want to learn a bit more about accounting perfect health economics um, again interesting management things like this like these modules are do you know what it is yeah like I'm probably not selling it that well because I have a business slash medical mind but some people who have like just sat purely science and don't like business they're probably like watching this thinking, yeah, Ryan, this, you're not really selling this to me. And that's fair. And for people like you, medicine and, you know, pure biology, pure human anatomy and um, surgery, etc., cetera, is, is perfect for you. For me, I want to explore all of my options before I narrow it down to just one training pathway, like just cardiothoracic surgery. Because the thing is, once you commit yourself to a specialty and a specialty training, it's a very long journey and it's difficult to sort of get out of it so i don't want to trap myself into a training uh, pathway without exploring all of my options so yeah that's kind of how i ended up choosing to do management at imperial college london now 
another thing as well so from january till about march april this year um i've probably been to london about from newcastle to london about 15 times like 15 journeys maybe even 20 journeys just up and down constantly and it's because there's been a lot of opportunities available in london so i've attended quite a few lectures i've attended quite a few events hackathons and um, i've even done some shadowing with the ceo of a company with 20 million like in healthcare health tech they're using big data and artificial intelligence in care of the elderly um, but loads of things i've been to in london and the thing is london oxford cambridge you know that area is called the golden triangle the golden triangle is an area where all the opportunities are. everything lies in in this industry and in many industries to be honest so that's why as well i was convinced that yes i do want to spend a year in london to, to network to get to meet people to get to know the right people to go all of these events and exploit my time there and make the most of it so this is why um i was eventually sold onto this like when I spoke to my parents, I was like, yeah, I'm going to take a year out to do this um, business management degree. Um, they weren't really happy and I'm not surprised. They thought my my mum's first reaction was, right, and you're leaving medicine to do business. And I was like, well, not really, but like kind of. And my dad's reaction was like, Ryan, what? And I was like, it's, don't worry, it's not business management, it's healthcare management. And to this day, he still thinks it's healthcare management, which it is. It is healthcare management and it's quite vague. Okay, so management is quite vague. It's business slash healthcare management. So in a way, I didn't really lie to him. I did tell the truth, but he thinks like every time I tell someone I'm doing, um, every time I tell a family member I'm doing management and people next year, he's like, tell them it's healthcare management. Don't say it's business management. I was like, fine, I'll tell them what, what you want me to tell them. Yep, no problem. So yeah, that is a bit of an update um, as to why and what I will be doing next year. Plus, you can expect some new videos of like me in London, chilling in London, cycling in London. Um, and maybe a few collaborations as well. You'll see, we'll see. So yeah, uh, that's all for now. I am in. I'm in a rush to go to have iftar with my family and eat all these donuts by myself in my car. So thank you for watching. Bye for now. Haha. <laughs>